Welcome to Life Bites Mindful Mondays. I'm life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And in today's grounding session, we're gonna help you get centered, cleared, and connected. Let's get started. The topic of today is unmasking your true self. In honor of Halloween week, the question we need to ask ourselves, is there a place in our life that we are hiding, that we need to clear away and allow our more authentic true selves to emerge? From the base of your spine down to the center of the earth, we're going to create a grounding cord that's very strong and fortifying. And supportive. And we're going to take the roots of that grounding cord and really anchor ourselves to Mother Earth, to ourselves, to our essence to who we are. And let's start to release everything that no longer serves us. Letting go of the past. Take a nice big deep breath. Letting go of the future. Take a nice, big, deep breath. Let's say hello to the here and now, present time. And about two feet out, you're gonna create a circle of light. And in that circle of light is a circle of yellow roses. And those yellow roses represent your true sunshine spirit, where your personality and your higher self are working hand in hand. Circle of pink roses that represent love and compassion for yourself as well as the outside world. And now a circle of red divine roses that represent protection from anything that is not of your own energy and your own light. Clearing the energy, making room for you, your true self. Now let's come up to your sixth chakra, right between the brow. And about two feet out, you're gonna create a movie screen. And let's put your life today, this week, on this movie screen. Say hello to your opportunities. What opportunities do you have this week? How about today or tomorrow? Are you thinking about your opportunities or are you thinking about your challenges? And can you become more neutral to your challenges? What challenges are keeping you from being your best self. Are you masking your challenges?
Say hello to your blessings, your beautiful blessings. Think of one blessing that you have in this moment and just give yourself a nice breath when you think of that beautiful blessing in your life. And now let us check in. Say hello to your physical self, your physical body. What lights up when you say hello to your physical body? Is there any dis-ease or discomfort? Give it a golden light or some green energy for healing, pink energy for love. Can you thank your body for all that it does each and every day? And now let us affirm in our physical body, health, vitality, strength, and flow. Health, vitality, strength, and flow. Take a nice, big, deep breath. Come up to your center of your head and create a golden light, bigger and brighter. And as that light gets bigger and brighter, envision it clearing the slate of your mind. Any anxiety, any frenetic energy or fogginess, really envision your mind being cleared. And say to yourself, I am alert, receptive, productive, and present. Once again, I am alert, receptive, productive, and present. Take a nice big deep breath all the way up to your crown chakra and all the way down to the bottom of your belly back into your heart space. Let's open up those energy centers one more time, all the way up to your crown chakra, all the way up, 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 all the way back down to the bottom of your belly and into your heart space. Say hello to your heart. Say hello to your feelings. What emotions are you feeling in this moment? Just become aware. Don't try to change at this time. And keep it simple. Happy, sad, excited, determined, challenged, whatever it is. And if you're finding you have a lot of anxious energy, I'd like you to take a nice big deep breath, hold it, gather it up, and release down your grounding cord. In the freneticness of life, the challenges of life, we don't only just pick up on our own emotions, but that of others.
So now we get a chance to set up our day, our week, asking ourselves, how do I want to feel today, this week? What is your mock-up for the day, the evening? What emotions do you want to feel? I'll give you three and either come up with a mantra or three other words that can describe how you want to feel today. I feel loved, supported, nurtured, and I feel loved, supported, nurtured, and take a nice big deep breath. Let's come up to your crown chakra, your more divine self, and feel yourself plugging in to yourself, to the divine, to your loved ones, to the world. And say to yourself, I am connected. I am connected. Now there may be a part of yourself that's hidden away, that may be masked by the layers of programming, of should ofs, could ofs, would ofs, what ifs. And ask your higher self for help. For you to reveal your more authentic, true self in everyday living. What did you come here to do? What is your purpose? How can you magnify that? in the world this week. What do you need to see Where are your blind spots? How can you fully express who you truly are? Take a nice, big, deep breath. your hand on your heart and let's think and feel three things that you are grateful for And now let's send love to somebody who may need it. 
including yourself. And now let's bring down a beautiful golden sun of light coming down through the heavens, coming down through that crown chakra. Moving into your six, igniting your sense of intuition and connection to your higher self. Moving down through your fifth and your throat, saying hello to that true authentic expression. As that golden light moves down through your heart, filling you up with love, support, nurturing. And whatever else you'd like to feel. As that golden light comes down through your third, aligning and magnifying out in the world who you truly are. As it moves down into your second chakra, igniting your relationships and being able to express yourself more truly and honestly in all of your relationships. As it moves back down into your first chakra, the foundation of life, Fill that golden light in the base of your spine as you say, love of self, love of self, as it moves down through your legs, creating that strength and flexibility, down through your calves and into your feet, wiggle your toes, Say hello to your fun fairies. Oh, as it moves back down into Mother Earth, say to yourself, I am grounded. I am alive. I am fully expressing myself in the here and now. I am grounded. I am centered. All is well. Life is good. And everything is moving forward exactly as it should be. Take a nice big deep breath. Oh, release. And open your eyes. Now that you are grounded, cleared, and connected, let's move on to this week's message and life theme. What we do when we are hiding is we go underground, even from ourselves. And so this week's topic is a great reminder to look under your own hood to ask yourself some questions. Is there anything that you are hiding from in your own life? Is there any relationship that you would like to have be more fully expressed, more truthful, more alive? And yet, you're not exactly sure how to have that happen, 
how you can have more truthful conversations, how you can have breakthrough moments, not only with yourself, but others. Part of unmasking who we truly are and being able to express ourselves authentically is we have to be willing to be vulnerable. And in today's world of cancel culture of, I don't like that, but I like this, you're wrong, I'm right, it becomes more difficult to want to share and to feel safe enough to share our authentic self. So I'd like you to take out a piece of paper and a pen or your journal, whatever you have. And I'd like you to write down a relationship that isn't as truthful or isn't as authentic as you'd like it to be. It could be because of them and not you. It could be because of you and not them. It could be a combination of situations. It could be a misunderstanding. It could be that just haven't been able to go there with this person. But it's kind of like it gnaws at you. This could be a relationship that has lasted for decades like this. Now I'd like you to turn that question to yourself. Is there an area in which you're going along for the ride and knowing that you aren't expressing your true self? Now, this could be little or small. Something really annoys you about somebody or something. And you haven't shared it. And you're weighing the pros and the cons of sharing that. See, it's the little items in our lives that make up the untruths, the masking, the hiding. There may be a big hiding happening, but if there's not, I want you to look at the little lack of truths that you may be living each and every moment. I want to achieve this, but that's going to require energy and focus and determination and resources and support and acknowledgement and discipline. Is there an area of self-worth that needs to be explored during this time? I'm going to ask you a deep question, and I want you to write it down, and I want you to ponder it this week. You may know it right off the bat. You may need some time with it. What is your purpose on earth at this time? What did you come here to do? to feel, to be, to express. What is your purpose? So for some of you, that may be a question that really is going to take some thought. For some of you, you might have been thinking about it for a long time and have an answer. But whatever you come up with, I'd like you to ask yourself, are you in alignment with your purpose? If I came here to entertain people, and yet I'm a dentist, am I entertaining people in the chair? How am I doing that?
if I came here to be a good mother, <clears throat> where am I expressing my mothering? So I want you to spend some time in thinking about this question because as you fully understand your own purpose, it will give you the passion, the motivation, the desire to be more authentic in the world because you're connected to why you're here. I have a tendency, and a lot of empaths are this way, you can be a chameleon. So depending on what the current's bringing in, you can flow with it. Are you one of those people that are being guided around by other people's agendas, other people's feelings, other people's patterning? Are you self-directed? These are the little paper cuts that make up the lack of truth in our lives if we're not conscious and aware. So this week is all around your purpose, connecting to that purpose, living and aligning with that purpose. Even if you're not exactly sure what it is, there might be a few things you might write down. Start connecting with that. It'll start to guide you. Unmasking your true self is a journey. It is not a destination. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Mindful Mondays. Be sure to join us this Friday for another episode of Life Bites as we get you inspired in the areas of life, business, and media. I'm your host, life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And remember, until next time, sometimes in order to speed up, you've got to learn how to slow down.